Hello. <laughs> it's Tea Time Tuesday. Okay, I'm cheating. I have coffee because it's morning. <laughs> Cheers. I hope you're all doing well. And it's another cold and dreary day here in May. So we're going to be having rain for the next four days I think so no gardening work but I did get a lot done yesterday I planted two big pots of gladiolas because I figured if I want to save the bulbs here in Ohio um, they aren't all hardy and one thing I did learn is that uh, there's actually hardy and just regular gladiola bulbs. So I planted the regular gladiola bulbs in two big pots and I'm hoping that works and they come up. So I'll show you that probably in June whenever it is gladiolas come up. So and I planted a couple elephant ears. I went a little crazy at the nursery and uh, I've been watching a lot of videos about elephant ears and how cool they are. So I bought a couple different kinds of elephant ears and I'll show those to you. And it just so happened that uh, it was a coincidence. My local nursery had just gotten a shipment of all kinds of elephant ears in. And I was looking specifically for the mojito, which has beautiful speckled leaves and you can also use them as a house plant so I will overwinter them and um, a friend of mine gave me a bunch of bulbs uh, she gave me uh, an elephant ear and also um, um, a dahlia and oh a canis a few canis bulbs so I planted those in pots too. So I just wanted to show you a quick shot of my um, elephant ears that I picked up at the nursery. They're different kinds. Uh, this is the mojito. Oh, there it is. That's the mojito. So pretty. Um, and they're still young. They'll get much bigger. Uh, this is a different kind. I don't know exactly what kinds they are. But, um, and then this is a beautiful one with black and green. And uh, this leaf just opened. And it's holding the water. And then I have another one back here. There it is, another one back there that's got the black leaves, dark green. And then I picked up a banana plant. So this is a, a truly tiny dwarf banana. So I picked these all up at the nursery. So those are my elephant ears and I hope they do well. So in a way, I'm kind of happy that today is a little bit uh, dreary and rainy because I've been overdoing it a whole bunch with the gardening. And I really need to do some other things like laundry. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, um, so that's what I've been up to. What have you guys been up to? How's the weather in your neck of the woods? Um, I watch a lot of gardening YouTube videos lately, and uh, some of you that live in the warmer climates are already uh, having their lettuce bolt, and um, I don't know. <laughs> Here it, it's hard to even get things planted. It's such a short growing season. It's a, it's a coordination type of thing. So this is my little fluff ball, Lizzie. <laughs> She's a bit on the hyper side. Um, but anyway, um, 
she uh, is my watchdog. <laughs> she's the smallest of the bunch, and she's my watchdog. But very friendly. She loves people, loves my grandkids. She just goes really crazy when people come over. Uh, she sounds the alarm all the time. So life with dogs. How many of you guys have dogs or cats? I, I know not everybody is uh, an animal person. I know my grandson, he, he can take them or leave them. I mean, he's good to animals, but, you know, he, I think he finds them a bit pesty. So, uh, but he does take care of them for me when we go somewhere, which is really nice. So, I don't know if you know this about me or not, but um, I was a glass artist for a while. I made glass uh, jewelry. I have my little kiln, and I haven't done that in a while. But I've been seeing a lot of videos, and I've also seen where people make uh, wind chimes out of old um, bottles. Um wine bottles and things. So I've been looking for a bottle cutter because I'd like to make a couple of those because I'm just uh, really crazy about wind chimes. I love them and I have so many of them hanging on my uh, surrounding my deck so I thought this would be nice uh, and it makes a real nice sound to make uh, some bottles, some wind chime bottles. So um, I'd like to do a video on that when I get it, but I haven't uh, ordered it yet. And they run anywhere from, I've seen them from 20 some dollars all the way up to uh, electric ones that are over $100, but I, I'm not going to get into it that much. So uh, I'm looking on Amazon to purchase one of those and uh, We'll see how that goes. So I wanted to talk a little bit about having hobbies because I have a lot of hobbies. And if, if you could tell me in the comments below what are some of the hobbies that you guys have, whether it's gardening or reading or making something and do you just have it as a hobby do you take it to the next level and sell what you make? Um, let us know in the comments below um, what it is you enjoy doing on your off time. I can become a little obsessive with my hobbies, um, and I have a lot of them. And I go in phases. And uh, <laughs> one thing about me, when I go into something, I go into it whole hog. Um, I, I need all the bells and whistles. And then I'm on a mission to master whatever it is that that's my hobby. So some of the hobbies I have, of course, you know, like my, my garden, uh, my house plant garden, my indoor garden, my outdoor garden. I'm very much into that and I have been for years and years. So that's a hobby that stuck around. Um, uh, I made, uh, used to make stained glass. Uh, I made designs and um, I sold some of my things and that was always nice and I still have a lot of my supplies for that. Um, I was into that uh, when I was younger and then my kids came along and it was really hard to continue to work with glass with little kids running around for obvious reasons. So I kind of shelved that, but I still have all my equipment. And like I said, I would like to get into uh, doing some bottle cutting. So that's one of my habits, or hobbies, not habits. And I have all the equipment for that. I have a kiln, um, all those things. And those are things that I'm not getting rid of. You know, I mean, I know at some point if I'm able I will pick that up again because here in Ohio we have very very long winters it seems like um, most of the year is um, spent indoors at least for me because I don't have any outside winter hobbies I just don't enjoy the cold it's very hard on my joints so um, I'm inside a lot in the winter time 
Um, another hobby that I have is I love to paint, but I find that sometimes it's a little nerve-wracking for me because I, I fuss too much. And um, it's something that I have to learn to let go and just let it flow, but I have a hard time doing that. So sometimes it, I find it to be a little frustrating, and then I won't paint for a while, and then when I get over that, I'll pick up the paintbrush again. And um, I've sold a couple of paintings, and um, um, I've given some to family members, so... I, I mean, I'm not unhappy when I'm finally finished with a painting, but I would love to get more into the Bob Ross mode, you know, with uh, the happy accidents and just let it flow. But I just can't seem to get to that point uh, without fussing. So that's a hobby I have, and I've actually had that for years, too. Um... I have a lot of um, yarn that, because uh, I used to knit and crochet, and uh, I don't know if I can still do that with my arthritis in my hands, but I think I want to try and pick that up this winter again, because that's something you can do even if you're watching TV or whatever it is you like to do when you relax. Um, I'm not a big reader of novels. I love to read magazines and things where I learn something. So I do have a ton of books, and I do love to read, but <clears throat> I normally don't read uh, just stories. I, I did when I was younger. I used to love the gothic romance novels, but um, not so much anymore. So I have a lot of, lot of hobbies. I'm sure I'm forgetting some. But uh, what are some of your hobbies? Leave us a comment below and let us know. And uh, another, oh, cooking. I forgot cooking. Oh, my gosh. And that, that has, uh, you know, an added benefit of you have to eat. So I, I do enjoy cooking. And I like coming up with my own recipes. So, um... What are some of your hobbies? I'm sure some of you have interesting hobbies. I know some of you are into paper crafting. and I had to get away from my hobby of uh, shopping because that was a hobby too, but that was just uh, getting into too much money and also shopping for my hobbies. <laughs> so I just stay out of the stores pretty much now. That's the one thing that I think has come out of the pandemic is um, a lot of these uh, grocery deliveries and, uh, you know, I mean, I know the mom and pop shops are struggling, so I do try and support them as much as I can, but it's nice to have something where if you don't want to go out, you don't have to. So, for me, that's a positive thing that's come out of this whole mess, but um, speaking of this whole mess, um, how are you guys doing in your states? Are you pretty much open? Are you still, um, are you still restricted into a lot of things? Or not just the states, but you know, your, your country, wherever it is you live, because I know some of us, or some of you live in other countries. So anyway, that's pretty much all I have to talk about today is hobbies and um, having fun with them and keeping yourself busy and, you know, not just sitting watching TV 24-7 because that gets a little boring. So anyway, um, that's all I have for you today. Uh, I hope you guys are doing well. And I want to wish you abundant blessings. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. I love you guys. God bless. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. And please subscribe.